Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be going over the basic stats of the brand new AN-94, which is one of the new weapons that was introduced in season five. We're going to be mainly focusing on the time to kill, the damage range, and we're also going to look at recoil patterns. We're also going to take a look at how this weapon compares versus the current meta in the game. So hopefully by the end of watching this video, you will have some sort of idea whether or not you want to go ahead and grind for this gun because it does take 31 tiers before you can unlock the new AN-94. So if you guys do enjoy today's video we have a like goal of 500 likes i'd really appreciate it if you guys could help me reach that goal and make sure to subscribe if you are new around here to make your way back to the channel and don't forget to turn notifications on so the time. website i'm on is called truegamedata.com it's a website that was created by an engineer who tested every single weapon in the game at about 240 frames per second so all the stats here are as accurate as they could possibly get and it's a very reliable source he does put in an incredible amount of work so make sure to follow him on all his socials as you can see here it's on the top left hand corner so the first comparison we're going to do is going to be a Modern Warfare multiplayer comparison of how the AN-94 ranks up versus the CR-56, the ground, the M4, which are the most common weapons that people use in multiplayer as far as assault rifles go. And then we're going to compare Warzone right after this. All right, so taking a look at the comparison of the aim down sight speed, it's not the absolute worst for aim down sight speed. The CR-56 actually has the slowest aim down sight speed. Keep in mind, these are just basic stats. These are no attachments added. The ground still has the best mobility as far as aim down sight speed goes. Movement speed is also on the slower side. The growl comes in at first place for movement speed, so it has the greatest amount of movement speed here for the growl. The M4 comes in at second place at 4.7 meters per second. Now, it's not that much of a difference, you know, if you compare it to 4.66, but still 4.7 versus 4.66, M4 is still faster, and of course the growl is gonna be number one. Now, as far as the ADS movement speed, it has the slowest ADS movement speed out of all the four weapons that you see here. And first place, again goes to the ground this only proves why the growl was such a meta weapon in modern warfare and in warzone because of its user friendliness it's just very convenient to use it has a fast mobility fast aim down sight speed now let's go ahead and take a look at the more interesting things that you guys are curious about which is going to be the time to kill so we're going to add the ads percentage of the time because we want to get as real results as possible here and we're also going to include bullet time travel to target target's health is going to be at no plates this is for multiplayer one thing you have to note is that it has a very strange damage profile so if you take a look here if we change this to the head for headshots it still has the best time to kill up to about 38 meters and as far as chest goes you know you see a dramatic drop in that time to kill for the an-94 which tells a big story of how you need to use this weapon if you get within this 21 meter range so if you shoot to the head and to the chest that is going to give you the fastest time to kill however if you change this to the stomach that dramatically changes it becomes the number one gun in the game up to about a certain meter of course to the number third it's just behind the ground the m4 and if you go ahead and shoot them on the legs then it becomes dead last so it's pretty interesting how those damage profiles work because if you see here the chest there is a huge gap here in time to kill up to about a certain range of 21 meters for a quick conclusion based on this data here as far as multiplayer goes I don't think it's going to be a quick first choice for most people as far as the casual gamer goes because it's not really user friendly. You have to be very specific with how you use the weapon. The aim down sight speed is very slow compared to the other weapons in the game. You're going to simply get outgunned by the M4 and the growl and also not to mention the fact that you have to be very specific with where you shoot your target's location. I feel like that is going to be the deciding factor for most people so let me know down below in the comments what you think. All right so we've got our war zone meta weapons here and that's going to include the growl the m4 the kilo and the m13 so keep in mind these are people's most common choices when they do play warzone so let's go ahead and take a look at how the a94 stacks up versus these meta weapons if you're shooting at the chest the a94 is right in line with the m13 past 50 meters so it has the best time to kill from that range now this is what's very interesting about the a94 and why i do not believe that it is going to fit in with the current meta in the game so let's just change this here to the head so as you can see it's terrible it's pretty much dead last place in every single damage range category so let's go ahead and change this again to the stomach again same exact thing a94 terrible results as far as time to kill goes for the stomach and for the legs same story applies here so I really do not believe that the AN-94 is going to be the new meta in the game. If you watch any of these other YouTubers that are saying that the AN-94 is amazing in Warzone, 
I truly don't believe in that. I mean, the numbers don't lie here. The chest shot location is the only thing that's giving this gun hope. And like I said earlier, it's just not going to be convenient or user friendly to most people who are playing Warzone. It's not going to be their number one choice because you have to be very specific with where you shoot your target in the location. I want to know your guys' opinion down below in the comments. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the recoil patterns of what the AN94 looks like versus the other weapons in the game. So here's a recoil pattern wall test that I ran with the AN94 and I compared it to the CR56, the Kilo, M13, Ground, M4A1, pretty much all the weapons that we just compared and contrasted on that website. So as you can see here from the AN94, it goes up and it curves over to the right. Now at first glance, if I were to compare the AN94 to the rest of these recoil patterns here, it's very clear that it has the same exact recoil pattern as the M4A1. See how it kind of snakes off and up to vertically to the side? Same thing applies here to the AN94, except for the AN94, it looks like it has a little bit more horizontal bounce to it versus the M4, but not by much. You can easily counter that side to side bounce with that Commando 4 grip, so that's definitely gonna be an attack you want to use if you're going to be using the AN94 at long range, especially for Warzone. So in short, if you know how the M4A1 recoil pattern works, the same exact thing would apply for the AN94. It's not going to be hard to control that recoil at all. Matter of fact, in a practical setting, when I was max leveling out this weapon, I found that the recoil pattern was very, very easy to control, even without an underbarrel. That's right. I was only running with the longest barrel, no underbarrel needed with the folded stock attachment, which we're going to go over in the next portion of the video. And I still had pretty manageable recoil control. So that's a huge plus to the AN94. It's really easy to control that recoil. All right, so now that we have the information we need, we know the exact stats of the weapon, we know the damage ranges, which ranges are best and how we should be using the AN94. Let's go ahead and give you a couple class examples that you could use depending on your playstyle and what game mode you'll be using. So this first one's gonna be for multiplayer. If you're gonna be playing multiplayer, you have to keep in mind that you have to either play up close and personal up to about 21 meters to take advantage of that really fast time to kill if you're shooting them at the chest or the head so let's go ahead and make an aggressive class setup here so i'm going to put on the monolithic suppressor that will keep us as stealthy as possible and it'll add a bit of damage range as well now for the barrel we're going to be using the vlk an94 sila now this one is only going to give us that damage range and bullet velocity which are still equally important unfortunately it does give us a con of aim down sight speed but it's not too much of a penalty and we'll be mitigating those negatives anyway for the next attachment we're going to be using the full stock now the folded stock is going to increase our movement speed as well as our aim down sight speed the only cons that it does have are aiming stability and recoil control but like i said earlier i did use this exact same setup and i tried to engage in about maybe a 30 35 meter range gunfight and i had no issues controlling that recoil this gun really has a very manageable recoil to control we're going to be using this stippled grip tape Remember how earlier in the video we said that this gun naturally has a slow aim down sight speed. So adding on both the folded stock and the stippled grip tape is gonna help us out tremendously. Now for the last attachment, this one's gonna be optional. It really just depends on your taste. You could either use the 45 round mags, especially if you're playing multiplayer, or you don't need to use the 45 round mags. You can use something like an optic if you need to, but also keep in mind that is going to slow down your aim down sight speed. So this one's a little bit more of a balanced class setup. We're still running with the monolithic suppressor. Now for the barrel, we're gonna be using the AN94 Factory X 438 millimeter. This one's gonna give us damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. So we get a three for one at the cost of our aim down sight speed and movement speed. However, these negatives are gonna get mitigated by the folded stock here. So uh, we're also still using the folded stock. We've also got this optic on. The reason why I do recommend putting an optic is because the iron sights on the gun are not that great. You know, if you're trying to engage in long range combat, you're gonna struggle trying to stay on your target because it's really hard to see your opponents at long range. So if you're gonna choose an optic, I do recommend using either the solo zero optics or the operator reflex sight. The main reason is because both of these attachments here offer the least amount of aim down sight speed negatives to it. It's only about four milliseconds compared to the rest here, which are nine plus milliseconds negatives. So that's definitely something to consider. All right. And for the ammunition, we can run with the 45 round magazines. Obviously using ammunition is going to be subjective. It's really up to you if you want to use ammunition, if you want to, if not, then you can just remove this one and put on stip with grip tape to give you a little bit more aim down sight speed. All right. So for my war zone setup, it's going to be looking a little different. Of course, obviously the aim down sight speed and movement speed is not going to be as fast as multiplayer in war 
Warzone, you do want to prioritize your range as much as you possibly can, as well as that recoil control. So for the muzzle, we're running with Monolith Expressor once again. Barrel is going to be the Factory X 438 millimeter, and the optic is going to be the VLK optic. So for two main reasons. Number one, it just makes it so much easier to see your opponent, especially from long distance. And number two, it's been statistically proven that it actually does control that recoil to some extent. If you guys want to see my video on that, make sure to check the link down below or click the video on the top right hand corner. All right, so for the ammunition, we're running with 60 round casket mags. Now the underbarrel is going to be the commando foregrip. Remember earlier we talked about the recoil patterns and what you need to do to be able to counteract the recoil pattern so that side to side bounce. Commando foregrip is going to be helpful in helping mitigate that side to side bounce all right you guys so that about wraps it up for today's video we pretty much went over the basic stats we compared it to the meta weapons in the game we showed you the recoil patterns and i gave you guys some example class setups should you decide to pursue the grind to the an94 let me know what you guys think of the weapon down below in the comments will you be grinding for this weapon and do you think that this weapon will actually be part of the meta let me know what you think down below have a great day